like stream and then kind of like chat to people um, on social media. That's pretty much all I do on my phone. And of course, you know, like phone calls and stuff here and there. But um, I honestly don't even think many people have got my number. Probably within the single digits of the amount of people that have actually got my number. So yeah, that doesn't happen often. I mean, ooh, doesn't that look beautiful? It's a load of sprouting um, kind of flowers that are coming through. Uh, definite perfect picture for spring. Very nice. Um, right, here we go. Uh, testing. Um, hey all, CIA pizza party. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Bless your soul. Happy, uh, hello mom, happy Wednesday. Cowgirl, thank you for joining us. Um, how do you avoid three grids? I'm um, sorry, I'm not 100% sure, three grids. Um, sorry, Hinky, I'm, I've, I've totally, totally blagged out on that one and I have no idea. <laughs> My apologies, dude. Hello, sir, hello there. Ellie, the lovely Ellie, what is good? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining us. We have all of the gang out today, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, so it is good uh, to take admission at university... So, oh, sorry, sir. Is it good to take admission at University of York or is it a death warrant? <laughs> um, so I'm definitely not the best person to uh, be giving education advice out as um, admittedly somebody who's, you know, not really academically uh, educated or even academically smart. But what I can say is from what I have g uh, gathered over the years, York is definitely a decent uh, university. Uh, the place, York, is absolutely beautiful. Very expensive, mind you, but that's because it's so beautiful. Um, and I mean, yeah, I definitely wouldn't consider it a death warrant. Like, if you were coming to somewhere like Bradford, then I would put maybe be very reluctant to say do it. But uh, York's a decent place, man. Like, York is a very high high end place. Very high up in the, the prestige ladder. I would have said personally, that's literally just me. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody in the world would agree with me or just a few people or if that is a thing. <coughs> but yeah, man, York University is definitely a good unit. I would, I would say that confidently. Here we go. Uh, yeah, sorry, secret equipment. By, any, by the way, guys and girls, if anybody does write a comment and I don't answer it straight away, um, it's basically just because, like I was saying earlier, I read through all of the comments and try to answer everybody, or at least as many people as I can. So I often can be like seven minutes behind comments sometimes. Um, it's usually not the lag, it is usually me. Uh, obviously, it's a bit harder to, to walk around um, and read all the comments at the same time. But at the same time, I don't want to miss anybody. I don't want to feel rude. I also know that you guys and girls ask great questions, so I definitely don't want to miss any questions either. So that's all it is. I will get round to it. Um, um, I am sorry, though, for, for like, taking forever. <laughs> But yeah, that, I, I guess it gives everybody a chance then to at least uh, voice their question and uh, get somewhat of a reply, even if it's just a quick one. But um, yeah, I think that's fair. Oh, right, here we go. The wind is vicious. Keep warm. Thank you, cowgirl. I am trying my best to keep it away from uh, the camera and from my headphones, more importantly. Um, but yeah, I, I hope it's working okay. I really, really do. <laughs> I'm literally walking sideways right about now, but let me give you a little bit of a, a spin round on where we are. Uh, people make lots of money on live YouTube and, uh, with super chats, but might get trolls. Yeah, that's very true, very true. Um, I mean, yeah, the money side of it is definitely um, a massive incentive. I don't want to sound like some greedy uh, money grabber, penny pincher, as I like to call them, because I'm definitely not that way out. But what I do definitely know is... Uh, first and foremost, you know, you need money in life. It's just as simple as that. But um, secondly, with money, I could do so much more with the stream. Like, I wouldn't have to just come and walk to the same place that I've already been to because I could literally go to a different country, for example, um, you know, uh, when things are a little bit better. But, um, yeah, like, it's definitely, um, definitely something that I am trying to, to do something that I'm trying to make my way into so your support over there would be very much appreciated 
and um, hopefully, eventually, will directly result in way, way better streams. Um, and that is that absolutely is a promise. So that's the one thing that I can promise. If everything works out, we've definitely got a wicked couple of years ahead. <laughs> we'll have some real fun streams going on. So yeah, awesome. Right, anyway, guys and girls, this is Cartwright Hall. Um, let me just get some comments whilst I'm here. Um, the entrance alone is beautiful. I love that fencing. I'm so ready for this. Yeah, man. Um, hello, Hinky. Awesome. I think YouTube uh, take 50%. Yeah, I think that is. Um, I think that is right. I think it is 50%. Which I don't mind, honestly. Y you really can't complain. I mean, if they were to take 75%, um, <laughs> you'd probably still more than what you're going to earn from like anywhere else. Like so. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the whole idea of monetizing streams and getting money and stuff from it really does make me feel slightly uncomfortable. Like, I've never kind of been that kind of person. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that kind of person. I think it's ridiculous to, to not ask for help when there's, um, you know, people that definitely want to help you kind of thing. But, um, you know, after a few bad experiences and getting, uh, I like to say... Um, I like to kind of use the analogy as like you tell somebody something about you and then they use it as a stick to beat you with later on. So, you know, you can uh, open up, be vulnerable, and then it's just used against you later on. So, you know, when that kind of shit happens, it does make you uh, dubious at best. But, um, yeah, man, the bottom line is, um, yeah, it would definitely transform the streams being able to have some kind of uh, cash flow and income, which is why I do want to eventually, hopefully, um, be able to do that. Right, it's getting real windy, guys and girls. So, basically, oh my gosh. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll go back, we'll go back up this way first, and then we'll get a, a front, a front view of uh, Cartwright Hall. But that's what that's Cartwright Hall right there. We'll go get a better view of it in a second, though. I was going to show you this little bit, this little fountain area, which I think is pretty, pretty beautiful. Um, uh, yeah, I'll save the save the little bit of info for when um, we, we we're looking at it. Because that'll make more it'll make more sense at that point. But yeah, awesome. List apart, guys and gals. Uh, but thank you for all your comments, by the way. I appreciate it. We try and scroll through some more. Uh, Discord peeps, just waking up here. Wicked independent stand. Welcome to the stream. We are at the lovely Lister Park, checking out Cartwright Hall again. Um, I hope you don't mind. I'm sorry to visit the same place. I know independent stand is one, definitely one of the people that um, has seen this place before. Oh gosh, um, yeah, the, um, uh, the, w the wind situation is not too great, but <laughs> we're going to try our best. Um, It'll be fine once we actually turn around. Oh man, can't wait to get an actual shot of, um, of Cartwright Hall. Oh, beautiful. Um, and yeah, this is this is only like a small part of it. There's loads more to go after this. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys and girls. I am incredibly, incredibly battling with the wind right about now. Um, <laughs> so, and my apologies on that. So yeah, Cartwright Hall. Um, so this whole place was basically built by a guy called Samuel Lister. Like I alluded to at the, the start of the stream, Samuel Lister was like a, a mill baron, for lack of a better term. He just used to own a shitload of mills. Radford was um, a very industrialised sort of uh, city at the, uh, at the time. I guess it still kind of is to a certain degree, but yeah, we used to be like leaders, world leaders almost in um, textiles, most notably wool. Um, and this place was actually, uh, it used to be Manningham Hall, but now it, it's um, Cartwright Hall, which in effect is an art gallery. It uh, originally hosted some like um, some kind of like donated pieces of art back in 1904. That was when it first opened, 1904. Um, and then it kind of made a little bit of money from that. Um, basically, then started to buy like Victorian and Ed um, is it Edwardian, Edward Edwardian, Edwardian art. Um, and started doing its own kind of hosting, doing its own galleries and stuff. Uh, yeah, but Samuel Lister basically gifted forty forty thousand pounds for this place to be built. So I mean, the thing that you're looking at before you right now uh, was built on forty thousand pounds, which I can't remember what that is in inflation, but it's definitely a few million by this by today's standards. 
Uh, but yeah, man, check that out. Check that out. It's uh, named after um, uh, Edward, uh, Edward Cartwright, who was the inventor of uh, something called the power loom, which was kind of like a, a key component in um, industrializing um, kind of like to the textile industry. So it obviously makes sense that this um, you know big mill owner would credit the inventor of something that makes um, having a mill more profitable. <laughs> but yeah, that's who it's named after, Edward Cartwright. Um, and yeah, it's an art gallery, still open to this day, might I say. Unfortunately, not like this day's in today. But yeah, um, when it's like not coronavirus and stuff, we can actually go in there and have a little look. Uh, I think there's a David Hockney exhibit on, or at least there was the last time it was open, which was obviously a while ago. But um, yeah, pretty cool, Cartwright Hall, awesome. Let's go check the rest of the place out though, because that is that pretty much done. We'll get a shot of, whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll get a shot of the back as well. Oh shit, the wind is savage. Um, yeah, right, sorry guys. You, I don't know if you guys and girls can even see or hear this wind. Let me just try and show you what I'm, what I'm working with here. Like, seriously, it's all over. Oh dear. Oh dear. So yeah, um, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm kind of stuttering and stopping and starting. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit windy. It definitely wasn't this windy walking up, but I suppose this is a very open space, so uh, yeah. I mean, check that place out. Flipping amazing. Staggering. I mean, it probably doesn't do it much justice on the camera, but it really is a massive, massive, magnificent building, which I find to be quite flipping cool. So we're going to go down here and check out what um, what the ducks and stuff are saying. Right, let me get some comments because I'm really, really far behind. I am a Yorkshireman indeed. Uh, the rain on your brolly. Yeah, man. Loving it. Loving it. Um, York's a great uni, definitely. Passing you a hot tea from Long Island, New York. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for telling me, you guys. I love all from India. You are very welcome. Drop us a follow. We stream every single day, and we're always up to something. Um, are you using your gimbal today? I am. Does it? Is it really that bad? <laughs> yeah, I am using the gimbal. Um, I, it, honestly, it's because of the wind. Like I'm, I'm genuinely trying to fight with my umbrella. But um, in its defence, usually when I'm fighting with it like this, it's usually snapped by this point and I've wanged it, thrown it away. So uh, yeah, it's actually um, it's actually done okay. But yeah, I'm really sorry. I am really sorry. It's so so windy right now, and obviously the rain doesn't help. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of battling with it. My apologies though, I do apologise. Um, awesome, uh, hey Beijing bro. Nice, uh, nice, nice, nice. Where is this by the way? We are in the lovely city of Bradford, Lister Park. Uh, Bradford is West Yorkshire, which is north of the UK. Haters gone hate, baby. Um, hey Pilgrim, nice. Uh, did someone uh, used to live in this park? Um, so, it was Manningham Hall. Manningham is like the area that we just kind of walked through, what I refer to as Death Row. So I imagine at one point it was maybe like its own little kind of place, um, but eventually everything just kind of merged into, into you know, like Bradford. Um, but I, I don't think anybody lived there. I think it was always an art gallery. Pretty sure. Beautiful architecture, thank you. Um, it's windy, um, but you still sound very clear, so don't worry. Thank you very much. Um, lovely. Morning, Kez. Thank you very much for joining us, Silky. Sounds cold. It bloody is. I agree. Loving uh, the buildings and the cobbles. Thank you, guys and gals. Um, good morning. Good morning, Baked Griffin. Thank you for joining us. Uh, beautiful park, Quiet Cat says. I agree. It's a bloody wonderful spot. Wonderful spot. Um, hello, hello, hello. Um, uh, Nessie, hello Nessie, thank you for joining us. Um, beware the ghosts. Oh gosh, don't say that, I'll run off. Um, Oi, brav. <laughs> nice weather for it. Uh, yeah, guess so. Um, I'm from Loch Ness. Um, I kind of did gather that, actually, which is really, really cool. Um, you should definitely come join the Discord and uh, share some pictures of the Loch Ness. Uh, by the way, we have a community Discord for anybody that would like to um, come and meet some of the community or whatever, whatever. Um, are you early? Um, early is in, um, I'm not 100% sure what you mean by that. It's actually, uh, it's 20 past two in the afternoon here though, so no, I guess not. Um, cool building, thank you. 
Um, no way. Um, is it raining? Yeah, exactly right. Would you believe it? You wouldn't believe it, would you? You couldn't write it. Uh, great place. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do you speak duck? Um, no, unfortunately not. I have been trying to learn, but um, every time I approach a duck to try and speak to it, it ends up in a fight. So, yeah, I've, I think I'm going to just try and do dolphin instead. That was like my first choice anyway, but you know, it's obviously much harder to get hold of dolphins to try and practice with. But I tell you what, it leads me on to a really weird story. Uh, there's a channel called Atrocity Guide on um, the YouTube, and they basically just did a, a video recently about just that, some people who were trying to teach um, dolphins how to speak English. Um, uh, you may have heard of it before, it really kind of turned into a, a weird old affair. As you can imagine, like a privately funded thing. So, yeah, pretty creepy. Check it out. Atrocity Guide. Always raining. Oh, my gosh, I know. Um, uh, super snowy in Moscow today. Happy to see the grass. Lovely, nice. Uh, better buildings down south, I would probably say so too. So, so pretty. Thank you very much. Um, Cartwright Hall would cost five mil to build today. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, you're a trooper, weather looks rough. I tell you what, it has been nicer out here before. <laughs> oh my gosh. But we don't mind, we don't mind. Um, we, we like to be out on, out on the ground. I do actually have some um, half cut up grapes for the, the ducks and stuff. I'm going to just walk around and hope that it stops raining a little bit. So I don't have to hold my umbrella at the same time. Because yeah, that would definitely require three arms. But nonetheless, let's keep going. Um, so we get the rain too, definitely. Love your streams from around Yorkshire. Thank you very much, Jed. I do appreciate your company, my friend. Lovely to meet your acquaintance. Oh, look at that, we've got a feeding frenzy going on. It's kicking off, guys and girls, it's kicking off. Um, USA here, thank you for joining us all the way from the lovely, the lovely USA. Hey up, what's going on, buddy? What is going on, buddy? Right, we'll quickly just give these give these boils um, what we've got for them. Just a sec, guys. Just a sec. Camera's gonna go a little bit funky just for a second, but I'm not leaving you. I'm not falling in a bloody uh, river. <laughs> not a river. You know what I mean? Right, kids in. We're kids in. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They've seen it and they've fought. Hey, up. The flipping hell's this kid on me. So I cut more. I, I cut most of them up, like, because you're not supposed to give them bread, apparently, like. So, yeah, there we go. No, no, you don't even want it, no. That, like that, really. You're gonna go and do me like that. Ooh. <laughs> oh, there, buddy. Um, <laughs> I kind of need that still, mate. Thank you. Let's see. If, let's see if they get down. And um, are they just gonna stalk us like that? Yeah, it looks like we're gonna stalk us. Cool. Right, let me put my bag back on and get my brolly back up. And we're gonna be set, set for action. Ugh. There's usually like loads of these little things. I think and Canadian geese are there, is that what they are? These little these little buddies. There we go, we're back. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Well, never mind. We'll keep walking. Um, right, sorry guys and gals, I am back. I am back, we are live. And um, what are you gonna have for your tea? Um, some, uh, some what says. Uh, what am I gonna have for my tea today? That is a very good question. I honestly have no idea at this moment in time. Um, I, I'm kind of struggling for like cooking and stuff at the minute because uh, I basically don't have a kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, you, you can imagine. Uh, but yeah. This is amazing, OMG, thank you very much, uh, Kitty, thank you very much, Kitty. We do try our best to um, get out and do stuff uh, as much as we can, but I'm quite privy to a little bit of a sit down and chill out stream as well. Um, but yeah, man, we'd love to have you again, drop us a follow, we stream every single day, um, or at least I try to stream every day, and today is the perfect example of me streaming every day. Because it'd have been a lot easier just to sit at home and do a stream from home. But I was very determined to get out and about and um, do a little something. I mean, it would have definitely not made much sense to go 
like really, really far out and be soaking for an hour in, on a train or something. But um, yeah, I think um, I think this is a happy medium for a, a day like today. Ah, uh, look, I don't know if you can see them all over there, but there's loads of them up there. Um, only Yorkshireman um, I know is Hayes Outdoors. Ah, fair enough, nice. Um, Hayes Outdoors, never heard of him, but I'll check him out. Uh, greetings from Montreal, Quebec. Thank you for joining us all the way from a lovely Montreal, Quebec. Oh, look at this little ducky. Look at this little little bugger. Having a, having a little wash of, him, of his bad self. How beautiful. I really like those ones. I swear I've never seen those little black ones before either. Um, I think they're my favourites though now. So cute. So cute. I would love to ha own ducks someday and have like a big massive um, lake full of ducks and just be able to come out and feed them every day. That's so cool. Living the dream. Living the dream. Look, they're everywhere. I don't know what they're doing up here like, but we'll, we'll stand here and see if they come and say hello to us. Um, <laughs> nice. Big up from Beeston. Uh, big up the Beeston Massive, sorry. Big ups to the Beeston Massive. Really, that's live broadcast? Yes, it is, my friend. What's up, fool? What is good? You must be talking to me there, for sure. Um, <laughs> what's up, fool? Is that you, Mum? Um, <laughs> greetings from Chile. Um, hello, mate. What is good? Mubi, thank you for joining us. Death Row, did people die there? I know, right? Um, it definitely sounds like that's the case. But um, more, more, I guess, more, I guess, because of, like, there's a lot of overdoses and stuff in that area, probably a lot more than, than many places because uh, a few contributing factors, and I'll just give you a couple of them. Uh, social housing, kind of, like, government housing, sends a lot of people there. There's, I think... Pardon me. I think there's like three hostels, which are basically like a free hotel that the council gives you when you're going to be homeless or you already are homeless. So yeah, there's like a few of them on there already. So naturally, the people that are going to be, uh, you know, socially deprived, um, sorry, socially and economically deprived, are going to end up in that area, which has then, as you can probably imagine, created a bit of an issue. But yeah, um, it, that's why it's called Death Row, or at least that's my observation. Thought this was Hyde Park. Ooh, nice, Hyde Park. Not quite, but we're going to go there at some point. Here we go. Um, hey, up, Cocker. What is good? Welcome. Um, finally, a broadcaster's not somebody playing an instrument. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely ready. It's full of people uh, playing instruments and, uh, you know, music and stuff, which I don't necessarily think is, like, a, a, a bad thing. Oh, it stopped raining. No, it hasn't. Um, yeah, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing, but it does get a little saturated, I suppose. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, quick side note, there is some really, really, really beautifully great um, musicians and artists as well on Reddit, which I think is really cool. A lot of these people are you know, probably just trying to get the name out there and stuff, so, uh, you know, it's admirable to see them doing something like that um, in front of camera, because, yeah, it's not for, not for everybody, man. But, yeah, awesome. YouTube. <laughs> Always wanted to visit the UK. You should definitely come, it's pretty nice. Do you like tea? I love it. Yorkshire tea, PG tips or Tetley's. Um, there we go. It was raining uh, when I moved out of Bradford about 12 years ago. Has it ever stopped in the meantime? Uh, not that I know of. I think we may have had brief, brief moments, but um, yeah, pretty much one continuous rainstorm, to be honest, dude. Um, it was pretty much, pretty much. Right, so let me think of where we're gonna go now. Okay, I got it, I got it. Sorry, sorry guys, I'm trying to also hold the um, uh, the, the umbrella whilst read the comments. I really needed Aaron here today to hold the umbrella. Uh, look at all those chickens. <laughs> nice. Kez, if you owned a posh estate home with a park, what fig um, figures animals would you uh, design in your grand water fountain design? Ooh, uh, would you feature? What animals would you feature? That is a really, really cool question. Wow, um, I'm not even 100% sure. Maybe, I, I mean, a dove, I think it'd have to be one because, like, dove is, like, universally known for peace, I suppose. So that would be maybe a dove with an olive branch, even. Um, so that would be one. Um, 
Um, I guess dolphins. I love dolphins. Really intelligent little things. Um, 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 and I don't know, maybe bees, because I love bees. I mean, it's not exactly water related, but I think, um, I don't think there's ever a bad time to remind people how important bees are. So, yeah. Um, thank you for your question, that was awesome. Uh, rain will come to Germany tomorrow. Woo, nice. Hope you enjoy your lovely bit of rain. Yeah, it's starting again. It's starting again. Uh, those are Canadian geese, thank you very much. Um, hello, Amber Glow. Welcome, Amber. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Lister Park. I think you may have also seen this place before, but it's worth the second visit. I swear it. I swear it is. Um, awesome. Uh, I read about dolphins language and it's a whole other level. They can lay times five with their language. Yeah, man, it's almost uh, unfathomable how much detail they can put into it. Yeah, I mean, it's so true. I've watched a few things on dolphins myself and they are just truly incredible creatures. Um, I, I honestly think that they are pretty much on a different level, man. Like, they really, really are. Right, let me think of where I'm going to go here. Hmm, pretty sure it's up this way. I think so. Try to find um, the, where that little spot that we went to last time was. But we'll just take a wander up here and see what we can find. Um, cheeky geese, I know, right? Um, Kez, can you swim? Uh, if so, do you like water parks? Um, uh, are those in the UK? Um, yeah, I can swim, actually. Um, I was very lucky in the sense that I was able to sort of go diving through a school program primary school po program mind you so I did do I think it was like from year 4 to year 6 that I did like diving pretty much twice a, twice a week I think it was which honestly taught me pretty much everything I know about like swimming and stuff to this day um, and yeah I would definitely consider myself a relatively strong swimmer probably not as strong as I used to be because I'm nowhere near as fit but um, yeah, I, I do love swimming. I don't think there's many water parks in the UK. Um, there, there must be some, I suppose, but don't think there's many, for sure. Um, we more have, like, amusement kind of parks, you know, like, um, the theme parks. Sorry, not amusement parks, like, theme parks. Or is amusement parks the same thing? But, yeah, we have, like, theme parks, like, roller coasters and stuff. We do have a, um, a few of them. And maybe we do down south. I can only really speak for up north because uh, I, I don't really know much about down south. So, yeah. Awesome. Greetings from Lang uh, Langston, Alabama. Thank you for joining us. All the way from a lovely Langston, Alabama. North Carolina here. Awesome. Thank you very much for all your comments, guys and gals, all your questions. We just about made it to the end um, again of some more comments. So that's grand. Let's go check this little thing out here. Oh, hang on, let's just check this out. Thornton Falls. Um, this, the waterfall is a model of a famous Yorkshire landscape attraction, Thornton Falls, near Ingleton. The waterfall shows sections of rock with an un unconformity. This feature was noticed by scientists in the 18th century. It shows the earth must be very old and that ve uh, great forces have formed our planet. The grey rocks at the bottom were once flat, horizontal, sedimentary layers of mudstones. Um, yeah, that's pretty much not really too... I, mean, I may as well keep going now. Um, now. Now the rocks look up on end. These rocks have been metamorphosed, squeezed and changed to become hard slate rocks. These rocks are Silurian age and about 425 million years old. The pale grey limestones above are the horizontal layers. They were laid down on the floor of the warm Carboniferous age about 340 million years ago. Between the two rock types are millions of missing years. Can you work out how many? In that time, the lower rocks have been squashed and eroded away. Cool. Sorry, I probably butchered that then, but we tried. Um, <laughs> awesome. Um, right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, North Carolina, yeah, man, so cool. Uh, thank you for joining us. That blackbird having a bath um, is a coot. Oh, somebody said that the other day, actually, a coot. That's really cool. Thank you for letting us know that. I should hopefully remember that for next time, but I definitely will, can't promise you anything because I'm pretty dumb like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this is the said waterfall that I think it was talking about. 
which is, I guess, pretty cool. Wonderful. There's a few little nice little things around here, so we'll go check it out. Ooh, look at that as well. So beautiful and mossy. But anyway, get down here and go see what else we can find. Um, sorry, do you ever get shy? Um, here we go. Do you ever get shy speaking to a camera with others uh, around? Um, see how you pizza party asks? Yeah, I guess I still do a little bit. Um, it doesn't really bother me too much. Like, um, honestly, there's there's been um, a couple of people pretty much uh, staring at me the whole time that I've been doing that whole that whole spiel and that, that actual readout that was having a look. But it's fine. I understand why why people would you know look. <clears throat> it's obviously kind of kind of um, far out to see sedimentary rock garden. The rocks to the left, and right? Yeah, sedimentary rocks. Oh, okay, so it must be these ones here. Um, sedimentary rocks but yeah um, I, I do definitely get a little bit shy but it's something that I'm gonna have to just get used to um, I really want to uh, eventually hopefully 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 one day uh, you know be speaking in front of actual people so um, you know yeah get used to it get used to it um, but it is kind of kind of uh, freaky still I suppose but I, I suppose as well at the same time people are a lot more used to uh, seeing somebody, you know, talking to a camera, everybody, you know, knows about YouTube and live streaming and stuff these days. Even people that um, have never live streamed in their life probably still know about it, like older generation. <coughs> uh, but yeah, I still do a little bit. There we go. Um, hello, Beer Money from, uh, from Dallas, Texas. Thank you for joining us. All the way from a lovely Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm still not over the rain. I could listen um, to, to this all damn day. Thanks for braving the damp for our benefit. You are so welcome. Honestly, I do not mind the rain either. Um, I'm glad that you're, you're enjoying it, by the way. I'm glad that you're, you're liking the, the pitter-patter of the rain. Um, it definitely is a beautiful sound. Probably one of the most beautiful sounds I've ever heard is just like an ambient kind of noise goes. Um, so, yeah, for sure. But um, you are very welcome. It is absolutely my pleasure. I appreciate you guys and gals for joining me, for making this um, little bit of a rain walk way, way better than it ever could have been if I were just doing it by myself. That's pretty cool. Pretty cute. 